I can't believe I'm doing this again, but I'm back for hair transplant round two. That's four. Round two. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gregory George. <laughs> Not Gregory Gage anymore. I haven't posted anything on YouTube in like two years. The last thing I posted was my update for my hair transplant that I had done way back in 2020. Now, a good few years later, and I wanna get a top up. So I figured I would track it all again and go through the whole process again. Now that I know kind of what to expect, I'm gonna do it again. But first I'll say like how much this has changed my life for the better. I'm so much more confident in my everyday life just because of my hair. If you saw my previous load of videos, you'll have seen how my hairline started. Originally it was like a very big like M shape. Whereas now it's very, very straight, which is, is, is what I wanted. I wanted a nice straight hairline. It's changed so many things for me in the sense of like, I've been skydiving. I, I never would have gone skydiving had I not had my hair transplant done because obviously your hair is like pushed right back. I still haven't been to a theme park since I had it done. So I've not been on a roller coaster, but I think you get the kind of same, the same gist from diving out of an airplane. Um, so you'll see like, uh, not a care in the world as my, my hair is like flying right back. I've also had loads of different hairstyles as well. So I've done the whole 90s parting, 90s like curtains, parting down the middle. I've had my hair up. I've had it all like swept back. I've had, I've been able to do so much that I never would have allowed myself to do before. So yeah, it's massively changed my life in a really positive way. But yes, I am back again. I'm going back to Vinci just to get a lot more density is what I'm looking for. So. I just want it to be like really thick and really dense in that hairline. Last time I had my hair done, I didn't have to shave my head, but that was because they were just bringing my hairline down. This time, because they're obviously going into where there is already hair now, I have a feeling, I'm like 99% sure, I'm gonna have to shave my head completely, which I've never done my entire life. I've never had a shaved head. A little bit anxious about it, mostly just because of the shaving the head, but I hope you come along for the ride and enjoy seeing the progress again. Subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notifications bell because I will be uploading every month again. Oh, in it. <laughs> See you tomorrow. I need to get changed into my scrubs in a second, but I'm here. I am about to have my head shaved to a, a zero. I'd, I'd mentally prepared for a, for a one, <laughs> but What's the difference between a zero and a one? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Right, let's go, do it, Just do it. <laughs> I'm going to start. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting emotional. Oh, Jesus. That is not a good look for me, Savage. I'm rocking with it. No, you know, it's not that bad. No, it's not, honestly. Can we get an awkward thumbs up, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so first we're going to do the incision so we know how many grafts we need for you because it's filling up, filling up in between. Then we are going to take out the grafts and put them there. Now I'm like an orange egghead. Yeah. This is the anesthetic. This is yeah. like the worst part. I, yeah, I remember from the, the first. Worst, yeah. So I can drill one by one your graph. Mm -hmm. So after that, 
I'll use this force forceps. Mm -hmm. After punching, just I'll hold one one by one graph and I will extract. Okay. Yeah. Separating into like single ones or yes, he's separating singles, doubles, okay, trebles. So that's the cleaning process. Mm. The anesthetic injections in the back of my head this time it was more painful than I remember it being. But on the plus side, immediately after that, it's like getting a massage that you can't feel, <laughs> so it's relaxing. And now I'm like half asleep again, but it's lunchtime and uh. I've got my my lunch from prepped. Little water river. I'm feeling very good about this uh, this one. Yeah, very good. I can't wait for this to grow. Now prepping for the follicles grafts to go back into my head. <laughs> I am back from Vinci Hair Clinic. I am feeling very, very good about this. So there's, they've they've tweaked my hairline. I went in and I was like, you know what? Let's give this everything it deserves. So it's slightly tweaked. And if you, I'll, I'll zoom in, you can look close. So there's like a slight zigzag pattern along the bottom. And all of that is filled with um, single grafts single follicle grafts and then it gets like denser and denser as they, as it goes back with like two follicle grafts and three follicle, follicle grafts as it goes further up further back and I've basically just filled it filled in every every little possible gap that there was and added even more I'm hopefully going to have very 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 dense thick hair at the front which is exactly what I want bandages on my head these will come off tomorrow obviously I'm very excited. Um, the doctor was really, really nice. Uh, Dr. Amoa Bharti. I saw some people from Vinci that I've obviously met through everything that I've done with Vinci since doing the first one. I've done like a podcast and stuff that hasn't aired yet, but I've done a podcast with them. They wanted to use my previous video for an ad on the London Underground, which is very cool. So I was like, yeah, sure, go for it. I want to I wanna see me on the Underground. But yeah, I am back in the hair transplant world again. I actually don't hate the shaved head. I am going to be spraying it with the saline solution, saline, saline solution, every hour on the hour. Hair oil to help it heal. I don't know. I've got a load of stuff in my little Vinci bag. I'm going to see how it goes and see how it grows and hope for the best. Here we are. Day one, I've had very, very, very little sleep. I was prepared for it and I just, you, you can't prepare for it. It's because you're so conscious of not wanting to touch the, uh, the grafts that you just, you can't like fall properly asleep. Um, so yeah, last night was, was rough. I slept on the couch so that I could sleep upright. I've ordered uh, like a neck pillow, which should arrive today. So hopefully that'll, that'll come and I can potentially sleep a bit better tonight. Okay, so learning from my first experience when I had the original hair transplant, 
when they were at the implant stage where they were putting the grafts into all of the incisions on my head, I had a lot of anaesthetic injections into my, in my head. Um, and I think that was probably why my face swelled up quite as bad as it did last time. So I thought to avoid having loads of whatever it is, general anaesthetic in my head, which would involve a lot of swelling, I thought, well, screw it, let's just stick with what I've got so far. I, I, I'll, I'll power through and then hopefully not have any other, any more injections. So hopefully the swelling doesn't go too bad. And if it, if it does get bad, I'm going to be more prepared this time because my other half has this stuff from Psychic Sisters. It's just a facial roller thing, but it's like with stones. So you keep it in the fridge, keeps it really cold and you can literally just roll it on to like roll any of the swelling like outwards away from your face and it feels good so yeah this is what i've been doing to to minimize the swelling as much as i can pretty good get yourself a roller set if you're having a hair transplant like this we're coming towards the end of the first day um i'm going to take this off now because it's been about 24 hours since i got home i'm gonna turn around and show you in a second what it looks like It's gross. I've got no idea what it looks like. So you've seen the back of my head. Well, that's what the inside of that looks like. Very nice. Wish me luck sleeping tonight. It's not going to be a good one again. Hey guys, we've made it to Monday. So today is day three post-surgery. I had it done on Friday, Monday, day three. Um, so today is the first day I can wash my hair. Um, I'll do it later. I'm not going to do it now. I've been sleeping on the couch since... I had it done, mostly because on, on my bed, my bed is huge and I've got loads of space to move and roll around and I don't want to do that. Um, so I've been sleeping on the couch because then I can kind of prop myself up in the corner and then not, not roll around or be in any way tempted while I'm asleep to um, move and knock my new grafts. I've also got this. I bought this. This is the um, Tall Go from Amazon. This is really good. It's one of the memory foam ones that you can use when you're traveling and it squeezes up really small, but this has been great because it just goes around your neck and then you don't have to like stress about rolling over and, and it's it has been really, really helpful. I didn't have one of these last time, but having it this time has definitely helped. Also, I definitely think my trick with the not having loads of anesthetic has definitely helped because I'm sure I would have been a lot more swollen last time. So this is me day three last time. And this is me day three now. Um, there is some swelling, obviously, only, but it's still kind of like contained up here and there's just not, not really much. Um, so I think that's like the trick. So just put up with the, the, the very tiny little bit of pain, the little bee sting kind of pain when you're getting the, the grafts put back in um, to have as, as little anaesthetic injections in your head as possible uh, and then you won't be as swollen. I've been spraying this continuously. Um, so yeah, here it is. You can see there's like a, a ziggy zaggy kind of line along the front which gives it, should give it a more natural look when it's, when it's healed. Um, and you can see they've gone up right into my hairline this time before they just did it in front of my hairline. You can see all of those tiny little hairs there, all around there. Um, yeah, so that is, that's what it's looking like day three after the surgery. I'll try and show you the back of my head because I obviously can't see what I'm looking at but I think it started to, to scab up already, which is good. But I also realized that last time I didn't really share the healing process of the back of my head. So I'm going to do that more this time if I can. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to take pictures of the back of my head uh, every day, as well as like the front so that you can see how the back heals up over time. Okay guys, we're at the end of the day and I'm going to wash my hair now. Wash. My instructions that I've got here say oh, this, this is a it's a no contact hair wash no contact hair wash so my first thing is drop and lightly dab 
the healing oil from your post-op kit into the, onto the grafted area. It says you can either use this or sweet almond oil as a substitute. So I'm gonna use this and allow it to soak into the scabs for at least 10 minutes. It's very oily. This is horrible. I'm gonna let this oil soak into my my hair. Hair. See you in a sec. I've got my jug, my shampoo, and I'm whisking it. Okay, got a good amount of foam in there. I'm not actually gonna touch the grafts. And this stays on for five minutes. <sighs> it's in my eye. Yeah, it's all covered. Five minutes and then I will rinse it out with water. There we go, first wash is done. I'm gonna zoom in and show you what it looks like. I haven't touched any of it. I've just done the foam technique and then rinsed it off with the jug of water. Like some of them look like they've gone like white. I could be wrong. And there we go, that's the first wash. First wash done, and it is day three. Last time, three years ago, uh, day four was when I was the most swollen throughout the whole process. So, see how I look tomorrow, and if I am swollen, or if this is just the extent of all of the swelling. So here we are on day four, and this I think is going to be the extent of my swelling, which is pretty damn good to be fair. <laughs> it's uh, really not that bad. Swelling has not been an issue this time. The issue I've had this time has been itching. The back of my head, specifically the back of my head, has been really itchy. It was so bad last night I only got three hours sleep. It just, just like next level itchy so itchy like i couldn't like rest my head on anything this bit just fit, seems like it's so much more scabby than the other side um but the other side is probably more itchy really hoping that i can sleep tonight because this is me on three hours sleep and i'm feeling like i'll probably be a bit delirious by the end of the day so yeah <laughs> right i'll catch you guys later we are now on day five of this new journey. Um, and day five to 10 is when you can have a, con a contact wash. So I can, you can wash the grafts in the shower with low pressure in the shower um, and very low pressure on your fingers, no nails, just the tips of your fingers to like massage it in to start the breakdown process of the scabs on the top and the back and stuff. So. I've just had my shower, and the grafts are all soft and wet, so I thought I'd show you what they look like right now. Pretty much straight after having the shower. And they look good, yeah. Not much to say, obviously, other than um, I've managed to thoroughly skip the whole swelling, pro swelling part of the process, because my face is still pretty much the same. Hasn't changed since, since getting it done. Forehead is kind of, Normal, yeah, just very pleased. It's gone pretty well. I'll show you the back as well. While well, I've got you here, there's the back. It's still a little bit itchy, but it's not too bad. This is day seven post-surgery, so it's it's been like a full week. I had the transplant done a week ago on Friday. Um, yeah, so it's, and it's going good. The back is already healed up quite quickly already. Um, and the front is is doing good. So let's let's take a closer look at the front. It is all healing pretty nicely. It's It doesn't look as angry anymore. So the redness already looks like it's going down quite a bit. But I imagine I'll see the redness in more detail once all of the scabs are gone. Because um, that's when you can really see the redness. I mean, there is still some redness, but it's it's nothing like it was when I first had it done. So, yeah, pretty good. Um, I've literally just had the shower, so it's they're still <laughs> a little bit soft. The scalps look a little bit gross, but yeah, I'm very excited for them to come off. I'm really loving this little jagged hairline. It was very specific last time. I was like, I want it straight, dead straight. Straight, 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 and um, this time obviously I've like 
changed and it's 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 not dead straight anymore um, and I think I'm gonna prefer this um, but they did do what I told them last time so props to them they did try and persuade me otherwise as well and I was like no I've changed my mind obviously uh, so at the back of my head let's have a look hopefully this focuses I'm not gonna be able to tell but um yeah there was most of the scabbing around this side and that I think has gone down quite a bit um, I didn't ever really scab up in the middle. I think that's because where like all the pressure was when I was like sleeping and stuff. So it didn't really give it a chance to, to scab over. It's just lightened up. And then there was a little bit of scabbing here. And I think I can I can still feel some around this this bit here. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's not major. It's not bad at all. And this is just one week after getting it done. Hopefully you could see that, I don't know. I will find out when I edit this video. So yeah, that is week one done of my second hair transplant. And uh, I hope you liked it. <laughs> I hope you liked this video. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. And subscribe, because I will be posting. I am gonna post this month in like weeks. So, so yeah, we'll do like three weeks, four weeks of weeks. Um, and then it will be monthly from, from one month on because there's not like a huge amount to document in those, the early months anyway. Um, so yeah, month by month is, is generally better. But for the first month, definitely weeks. So I will see you next week. Bye guys.